my natural selections this week was broadly on sort of dominance hierarchies. I had I had tweeted something a month ago, a month and a half ago, responding to sort of a naive understanding of what an alpha male is, and then we also got a quest, asked a question about it in our Q and A last week. And I was thinking about you know, how humans don't really have alpha males, and a lot of people think alpha male is a is is not a thing at all, and that's not exactly true. But it is kind of an archaic term; it's not really what's used much in animal behavior anymore. But uh, there are a lot of reasons to expect that humans don't behave like, say, gorillas. Uh, but also, we have, well, you can read the piece. How about, <laughs> this is, this, this, I did not mean to embark on a question of what an alpha male is, but everyone will have something that comes up in their mind when they think alpha male. So I wrote this piece, and I needed a picture to go out with social media when it went out. And so I looked on Getty, Getty Images. And you may now show my screen, Zach. Uh, we've just put Getty images across all of these, so there's no um, copyright risk. I'm just going to, I just screenshotted the top images uh, when I do alpha male, and I will describe them for those of you just listening. We've got a, uh, a virus being injected with a, with a needle. Uh, we've got a guy in a, like a, a plague mask from the middle, uh, from the middle ages. We've got a close up of a, researcher in a like a hazmat suit and a mask and, a, and some kind of a vial uh, hands dude in a mask with a syringe a hand with a syringe a biohazard bag um, a guy sitting alone in bamboo a I don't even know what to, how do I describe that? A uh, dorky looking <laughs> guy flexing his muscles. Yeah, looking angry. Because yeah. that, 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 that was the point of this thing like that I wrote. It's like, actually, it's not about anger and violence. It's about conciliation. Anyway, um, on and on and on and on. I'm not going to describe all of them, but almost all of these are like blue suited, white suited, uh, you know, masked people with syringes. Or phones, or right. syringes, or all masks, and this like this is this is what Getty gives up when you say, "I'm looking for pictures of an alpha male." Finally, at the at at the the very end of what I'm going to show you here, then we have just like three pictures of randomly happy people, most masked. of whom aren't men, masked, most of whom aren't men at all, and then a kangaroo, which like as far as I can tell, it's the first possible alpha male I've seen here, right? This kangaroo. Yes, I mean, in fact, the. Uh and maybe it's, I don't even know. I can't sex a kangaroo at this distance. Maybe that's even a female. I don't know. Um, it's not worth delving too deeply here, but it's possible that in that cluster of four images, three of those images appear to be of the same scene where the dude is yeah. standing, like he's a college yeah. student standing next totally. to two female college students. No, it is. Yeah, one of them has changed a shirt in one of them, but no, it is. You're right. Yeah, so... Anyway, it's possible that that's what they're getting at. But yeah. there is something very odd here. Now, when you showed me this, I thought something is wrong <laughs> with this. And I'm just very like, wrong. it may be just even algorithmically broken. And I wondered if, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't bringing up all of these COVID images, which would be more at home in a search. If you searched pandemic or COVID, you would expect those images. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but so I did a test and I searched for alpha. Mm-hmm. Um, just to see if it was talking about a variant, if that's why it was triggered. Nope, didn't happen. So anyway, it is the alpha male search, mm -hmm. and male doesn't do it either, right? Yeah. So there's something about those combination of terms that is triggering, you know, maybe it's just algorithmic. Um, but uh, anyway, it's it, it, there's a question about what's going on here. There is very much a question about what's going on here. Uh, does our producer want to say something? Yeah, that's not our experience at all when we checked. It was not the same images, but it was also lots of COVID images when we searched Alpha. Unfortunately, so Zach and I are having a disagreement. Yeah, do you want me to, I don't know, do you want me to talk into the mic? And... You could talk into the mic. Um, we can't show you the images because of the way Getty works. Um, and we would be putting ourselves in jeopardy if we showed those images without... Um, without putting Getty across. So there. just so. to clarify what I just said, my sense when we searched up alpha was not the same images, but related oh, oh, COVID oh. images. No, that is that is correct. What we saw for alpha variant, at least... No, no, was, no. It was just alpha. I just plugged in alpha. 
Uh, so we saw a lot of images that were like pictures of a virus, but not pictures of people with syringes. And it was definitely odd. The alpha male search was particularly weird. And I also searched, interestingly, if you plug in beta male, it's identical. The search is like identical mm -hmm. to alpha male, which is weird. Hmm. Yeah. So, I, you know, I don't know. And I've got one more set of images to show as well. You know, I, again, I was just looking for an image for, for this piece and I tried gender norms. Now, before we show this one, don't show my screen just yet, Zach. I will say that I did this search back, it would have been Monday night, and when you guys redid this search just now, this morning, yeah. it, came, it came up with totally different answers. So, you know, again, again and again and again, I, I have to wonder, and we should all be wondering, to what degree am I seeing what other people see? To what degree is a search a search? Right. And I, you know, I thought, you know, we, we have purchased access to Getty to, to use professionally. And I would have thought that a search would be a search. Yep. Uh, and, you know, you, you, would, you would expect it to change over time as new pictures get added, as the cultural milieu changes, whatever milieu. Uh, but alpha male and gender norm, which is the other search that I did here, would seem to have nothing to do with COVID. And so if you search on alpha male, and what you get is a whole bunch of pictures of uh, covid -y, syringy things. It's very, very, very odd. Uh, and then what we see, if you want to show my screen now, Zach, uh, when I searched on gender norm, and again, this was not replicated today, five days later, is what appears to be pictures um, from China, maybe, of people being given um, throat swabs. Just over and over and over and over again. Yep. For it's amazing. The search on gender norm and then then we end up at baseball. <laughs> so I'm I'm just baffled yep. and 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 continue to be, you know, concerned in places. Like the evidence for concern shows up in places I was not expecting it at all. Right? So, uh, as you will recall, years ago, um, when we were professors and creating lectures mm -hmm. the typical thing you did yours differently than i did but in general there was a sort of sense that we would build a lecture in powerpoint and then deliver it uh, in one way or another uh, in front of the class and i became pretty adamant this is long before anybody had confronted us over anything mm -hmm. but i didn't like the idea that when I gave a lecture and I was going to talk about the evolution of love or something, mm -hmm. right? That if you plug, uh, if you search for a random image, what you tend to find are images of well-heeled white people in the Western world in love on a mm -hmm. beach or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And I, so I used to have to trick the search engine into giving me images. You know, why, if you plug love into a search engine, why are you not likely to come up with hunter-gatherers? in some place on earth. Fewer pictures, for one thing. Well, and, it's and it's less often what people think they're looking for, but of course that reinforces what they think they're looking for. Right, but okay, at the very least, there should be a wide range of images from different cultures, since every culture has this feature, mm -hmm. right? It should, be, it should not be heavily biased in some direction, and so I used to have to counteract mm -hmm. the heavy bias inside of Google, and... Um, at one point, I was talking to my students about the fact that I was doing this, and they clued me into the fact that actually Google was sensitive to where you were searching from, and that if you tricked it into where you, it thought you were, you got a different bias. Um, so anyway, there's some long-standing thing, and there's a genuine problem. How do you solve the problem of um, delivering images that are representative rather than reflective of a bias in the population that's likely to be searching or the expectations or desires of those who are searching. Why not you want a search engine to give you an actual reflection of the world mm -hmm. rather than to reinforce biases. But as soon as you start trying to correct for uh, biases, then the point is you're in danger of introducing biases. And right. anyway, it's a, it, it's, a, it's a difficult problem. Zach has something to add. Uh, I just need to correct something that I told you that was incorrect, which Dad and I tried to find out. When I just saw what you showed, um, it turns out that when I tried to replicate your search for gender norm, I was using the wrong category. You know what I mean, Mom? Uh, yeah, but anyway, I just tutorial. replicated it. It's identical. So oh. that's actually... Mm, okay, so both of these changed. searches so that, do replicate yeah. now. Okay. So they're, they're okay. identical if I search them now compared to when you searched them a few days ago. So that's not a data point there. Just Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So I don't... 
honestly know what it means. I don't, you know, I, I, I don't see how, I don't see how this functions to anyone's benefit, honestly. Um, <clears throat> with regard to gender norms and throat swabs, it makes, I, I can't get anywhere with it. With regard to um, alpha males and people being masked and, and getting syringes poked at them, I can see how this is consistent with a, a narrative that we are um, we are being asked to agree to, which is that you're sort of you're not you're not doing your duty, and you're not you know maybe you're not being uh, a, a good man if you don't do the thing that the government is asking you to do. Well, I have a, a hypothesis that is um, simultaneously worse and maybe less targeted. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I know from what little I've done Getty image searches that there are places where it just doesn't have anything right? sure. because it's actually buying access to these mm -hmm. f photos. It doesn't, you know, things that get particularly. Right. But someone at Getty tags them. So, you know, right, I, right, right. I, I, I could see taking a lot of pictures like the picture I, sh I should show the picture that I ended up using, uh, which was from a search on alpha male. And I'm going to just keep talking so I can find it here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Was presumably my guess is that, uh, this person who took this picture, you can show it now, Zach, um, did not take it and think, ah, that's a picture of an alpha male. Right. right. But it got tagged this way, and I looked at it and went, goldfinches at a feeder. Yeah, there's like the, the, the one guy that's looking at the bird coming in. That's a territorial interaction at least. Yep. Right? So I, I, I know I interrupted you, but you know, I don't, yes, there are certainly arenas where there aren't very many pictures but someone someone within each of you know Flickr within each of these places that is distributing pictures is deciding how to tag photos right but uh remember my claim was that my hypothesis would be both better and worse okay, okay. so the idea is you have a repository that isn't a collect everything and you know let some ai tag it it's more deliberate and more selective than that mm -hmm. it's good images yep they you know are manually tagged and so it's a much smaller pool which means that if you search things that nobody ever searches mm -hmm. the search doesn't have anything for you right getty doesn't know that it should be looking for pictures of gender norms right maybe that's not a very common search mm -hmm. as a matter of fact it probably isn't a very common search um mm -hmm. likewise alpha male you know maybe but so imagine the following imagine that there is a nudge in the search that mm -hmm. biases every search a little bit so it just puts in a smattering of this mm -hmm. um here's what people are doing you know they're getting jabbed they're taking swabs they're doing this stuff and that when the algorithm comes up empty because you've thrown it a challenge it's not good at the only thing there is the nudge and so the point is it spits out a bunch of stuff that has nothing to do with your search. Mm. It has to do with the fact yep. that there's a very subtle nudge built in to the algorithm. But in the absence of any other data, that nudge becomes uh, much larger than life. Right. And it's a yeah. testable hypothesis, of course, because mm -hmm. it, once you know that there's going to be empty categories, we could go search some things that we expect to be pretty empty and see whether we get the nudge mm -hmm. right in the direction of everything. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's terrible, but it's... See? Yeah. I told you. <laughs> both better and worse. Yeah, indeed. Thank <laughs> you.